what's going on guys, I'm Lone Player here and today I'm bringing you guys some early and exclusive gameplay from uh, one of the new maps that's come with the Havoc DLC called Urban and uh, pretty much like all the DLCs I've covered I was lucky enough to be invited to an event by Activision to go and record this gameplay early so that's how I've early gameplay in case you were wondering and there's also going to be a playlist in the description where you can find a ton more coverage of the Havoc DLC, things like the new maps and also the new zombies, check that playlist in the description you'll find a bunch of my videos and uh, but today we'll take a look at the map Urban, this is actually an insane map, it was the last map I got to play out of the four new ones and it was actually to my surprise a tiny tiny map as you'll see in this gameplay there are just people coming from like every angle just really close quarter situations definitely one of those maps for shotguns and smgs because as i said it's a very very close quarters map and just this map uh, called urban is now the smallest map in advanced warfare which is kind of crazy because advanced warfare never actually had a smallest map but it's crazy that one of them is now in dlc normally every call of duty i'm pretty sure since like cod 4 has always had a staple tiny map like there's been shipment there's been rust there's been nuketown in the black ops games and uh, even Strike Zone in Ghost, that was definitely the biggest out of the maps, but it was still very, very small. And even like Modern Warfare 3 had a dome, and so did Co uh, COD 5 World War. But uh, all of these games always had that tiny, tiny map that you can guarantee for like 1v1s or like quit scoping 1v1s or something like that. You can always guarantee there was that tiny map to play on. Whereas it took like till a month after the Advanced Warfare's launch, and I actually realized that there was no small maps. I think Solar might be technically the smallest map. I can't actually tell. It might be between like Solar and also Comeback. That's pretty small map and i think detroit as well those are all kind of small maps but in the grand scheme of things compared to most cod maps they're still uh, medium size but most people consider medium sized maps and uh, so i thought it was very strange that advanced warfare didn't launch with one of those tiny maps you can have like 1v1s and it was always just insane guaranteed like insane close quarters action but this is definitely the new smallest map in the game and you'll be surprised like the other maps are actually really really big in the dlc and i played the other three and i thought they were actually pretty big like there was a lot of long range sniping engagements like maps that would make snipers very happy and uh, like burst fire weapons and definitely a lot more of the long range kind of preferred style and, uh, and they also had their close quarter sections whereas this was just complete absolute mayhem with just so much going on uh, so many kill streaks, so many players just coming at all angles there's a lot of verticality with their two buildings as well it's kind of like this symmetrical uh, design there's also these two main buildings very similar to Nuketown uh, looking at each other with windows that you can kind of snipe across and you can also kind of look into the left and right side there's like a choke point on the stairs on one of the sides which a lot of people tend to hang around and there's well like a dipped down bit where the domination b flag is you notice that's very intense and i think the uh, map event is also to do with that kind of b flag era there are doors that kind of open and close when the lockdown comes in and out of effect i actually didn't notice at all to be fair i played a few times and i didn't actually notice anything that changed so i'm not sure whether it'll be a huge effect when i play it a lot more obviously when the uh, dlc launches i'm not sure whether it'll make a huge effect but to me personally i didn't notice all too much i think there's like a room or two that kind of opens and closes it kind of changes some uh, lines of sight but that is what the actual dynamic feature of this map is and how it changes all the maps of course are dynamic and uh, yeah it's a very colorful map and i do like it it's very chaotic definitely one of those maps you want to throw an smg for i was rocking the asm1 here obviously one of the best submachine guns in the game and this is definitely going to be your best bet i don't really feel like assault rifles are going to do too much use on this map because they're just getting outgunned by asm1s up close like you're definitely going to get outmatched by a lot of people rushing and kind of like being aggressive with their playstyle. and uh, yeah i was really surprised to see just how small this map was i never expected expect to see such a small map include the DLC they're always normally small to medium sized range and it's very strange that now the smallest map in advanced warfare is actually a DLC map so uh, let me know what your thoughts are on this map your first impressions of course there are a ton of more videos on my channel uh, all three other maps they're going to be going up uh, very soon and also the uh, zombies gameplay you can check out check the playlist in the description you'll see a bunch of my havoc videos and also post launch as well I'll update the players and put more things in there so hopefully you enjoyed this video and an early look at the urban map in the havoc DLC of course check out the playlist in the description give it a like crazy if you enjoyed this early look at the Havoc map pack and I'll see you guys on the next video